And here we are at Charming Round Pond in Duxbury. And uh, we'll get a bit of this in today. It's a large place, 170 acres. Pooches must be under direct control of their handler and droppings removed from trails. It's a nice way of handling it, just like not too specific, just don't make a nuisance of your mutt. And enjoy hiking, jogging, skiing these trails, exploring the woods and fields, keep your mutts under control, don't leave any litter, help us by removing any you find, and keep this land safe and preserve it for the next generation. No fires, guns, vegetation removal, motorized stuff, or overnight campouts. Courtesy of the Duxbury Conservation Commission. So yeah, here we have it. We've got a map. Nothing more dangerous than a couple of putzes loose with a crappy map in the woods. And the trail comes by the feature that gives the property its name. Little charming round pond. You can see an old cranberry pump house bringing water into the bogs. There's a trail that follows the shore of the pond. And we'll soon arrive at the charming and interesting bench they made. Heading this way. Dog walkers abound. It's a pooch friendly place. There's the way to the parking lot and the Bay Circuit Trailhead. This heads off into Esker country, I suspect. And this is our way down to the southern end where the Bay Circuit meets the street once more. There's the pump house. We're back at dear old Round Pond, the namesake of the Round Pond Preserve. Note the fabulous old bench they have. Kind of a unique design. Haven't seen this bench type yet. And this looks like a little put in for kayaks or whatever. You want to paddle around, run round pond, you can, assuming you're willing to haul your kayak in. And there's the main trail system over here. The trail sort of curls around round pond briefly. You can see it off over there. And we're heading south. And there's the old picturesque rusting pump house. This is a retired cranberry bog, I believe. <laughs> there's the way back towards the parking lot and the trailhead on Mayflower Street. And here's the way ahead. A little rise above the edge of the bog. The sound of Route 3 ever with us. And you make a turn here, heading to the east. We'll make another turn curling south. Here's some interesting human artifact, concrete, stone, something or other. Ooh, it's got some metal on it too. Look at that. What 
is it? There's all sorts of picturesque junk around here. Interesting pines. And the trail rolls on. All right, and here the trail you see winding our way from the parking lot and the trailhead. We have a overlook of a lake below. And the sound of motors on Route 1. And evidence of a cropping horse or two. So this must be fun to take horses. All right. All right. Here's a junction where the yellow trail branches off. The white trail is principally designated for the Bay Circuit, and it's heading this way. We're up on some kind of terracey thing. My crackpot geology theory is that it may be the former basin of a kettle hole pond that receded because it doesn't really behave like a cam terrace. It doesn't really seem like a moraine, nor is it really showing much evidence of being an esker. And don't even think about considering that it's a Stassen Lee hill formation. As ever, like the distant sounds of battle or the rushing of the Amazon River near its headwaters, we have motorism. A mighty motor is our master. <laughs>